Five years ago, Joker 2019 came out and was a surprise sensational hit with audiences. Matter of fact, one of the biggest shock that came out of this movie is that this was an R, this was one of the first R-rated films to hit a billion dollars in the box office. Why was the Joker such a cultural phenomenon? I think it's because it was a brilliantly performed and brilliantly written uh, character study on one of the most iconic uh, supervillains in, in, in superhero comics. Um, there's something about the way that Joaquin Phoenix has portrayed the Joker in that film that really uh, resonated with people. The struggle, the suffering, the pain of being a society reject is uh, so amazingly portrayed in this film. And it's still something that's still uh, talked about, still discussed. There are tons of essay videos about it, and it is beloved and cherished. But it also always felt like the Joker 2019 was a one-shot film. It's a movie that was so good, it never needed a sequel. However, that didn't stop Warner Bros. from really asking the question, well, what if it, there was a sequel? Hmm? And they went ahead and did it. <laughs> now, bear in mind, there was already a lot of optimism for Joker Fully Ado uh, before it came out. Even when we got news about the fact that Lady Gaga was going to be playing uh, the role of Harley Quinn and that there was going to be some musical sequences, people were like, fine, that's okay. We trust that this is going to be as good as the first movie, right? Well, Joker 2, Fully Ado, has just uh, been released in theaters and has honestly not been doing well in the box office. Matter of fact, it's been pretty disappointing earning approximately $40 million in its opening weekend, nearly a 50% drop compared to its predecessor. And then there's the audience reception, which honestly has been quite entertaining to kind of look into. Um, but unfortunately, the film has garnered a, an abysmal audience score of 32% on Rotten Tomatoes. This is also matching the critic score. And if you go on any social media, especially on TikTok, you'll see people doing before and after reactions of them watching the movie. They're walking in, they're like, okay, I'm watching Joker 2. And then they come back, they're like, I've just wasted two hours of my life. Yikes. That, that tells you, there's like a big indication when you start seeing videos like that, where, okay, there's something wrong with this movie, but why? Why did Joker 2, fully ado, flop in theaters? Well, I think there's a few reasons behind this. And the first main one is that the Joker 2019 never needed a sequel, ever, honestly. But because the film made a billion dollars in the box office, Warner Bros were profit hungry and they said, let's do a sequel anyway. And they went ahead and did it. And with this sequel, they took some creative risks that honestly undid and trivialized all of the great elements of that first movie. So let's talk about it. First, the shift in tone and content. The sequel, the sequel's decision to incorporate musical elements have honestly been the worst part about this. So much so that has alienated the core audience from the first film, uh, which honestly we're expecting a little bit more of that gritty psychological drama aspect to the Joker film. And because of this alienation, now, here you go, you got an entire demographic of, uh, of old, older male viewers who honestly don't, uh, are not going to be interested, who honestly would have preferred a more traditional uh, narrative over musicals. And so instead of building on that anti-hero character um, that was so captivating in the first film, what this movie does is it pivots towards portraying the Joker as more of a, a victim of circumstance. And it's like, if you're gonna do this, you're now diluting all of that character's menacing appeal. You know, again, it's a sequel that's undoing and trivializing all that the original film built up. And because of that, people honestly have basically dismissed it. They've like just turned off, they've turned off their brain. They're like, this is not a worthy sequel. And it's a shame because 
there was so much high expectation and the sequel just did not execute on that expectation unfortunately fans and critics alike are honestly disappointed and i could see why with even a significant increase in this movie's budget compared to the uh, first film which honestly it's t it was a 200 million dollar budget movie and still it ended up worse than the first film it's a it's a damn shame this this movie took way too many risky creative choices uh such as the musical and um it's bold sure but artistic choices uh, choices like this should have been a little bit more careful especially when they already knew what audience would have enjoyed this sequel and because of this and because of all these culminating uh, factors that's why joker 2 fully ado is flopping in the box office i think if anything people would wish to forget that they've watched this movie in the first place and this should be honestly a, a lesson to be learned from uh, studios like warner bros if a movie is a one shot if it was perfect in, in a single story, in a single film, from start to finish, there's no reason to make a sequel. I know it's tempting because the first movie made so much money, but can we agree that we shouldn't, we shouldn't prioritize profiteering over artistic integrity? Because when you do that, you get something like this. You get Joker 2 fully ado. If you've gotten the chance to watch the movie, share your thoughts and opinions. Do let me know and tell me what you think right here on the Evening Buzz. We're going to take a short break and we'll be right back with uh, more news from the world of entertainment right here on the Evening Buzz.